and are also based upon probability-based mathematics as well. The reader should also note that the subatomic particles are broken down into two categories that are fermions and hedron. Subatomic particles with whole integer spins are hedrons, and those with fractional spins are fermions. Okay. Is this string theory, Zom, or dependent? No, 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 no. This, oh, this, this, has, this has nothing to do with string theory. Okay, okay. Yeah. The reason... Look, I, I threw it out that like, it was all in mind. You might have gone across some freight words that might connect, but yeah, right. Those, those are too discreet. I, I just got you know, links. Loose, loose links. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. The reason for not treating the Schrodinger operator exclusively as a differential operator is the result of the fact that such operators are ill-defined. However, with the use of a linear operator, then the Schrodinger operator will work. Cato's theorem simply states that a linear operator, HD0, acting on any function of the form as follows. HD zero F of R one to R N is essentially self adjoins on H uh, correction self adjoins on D zero if the potential satisfies the condition of closure of bar under H D zero that coincides with the Schrodinger operator, HS equal TS plus VS, which is self adjoint and has the same domain as TS. remember that all the quantum mechanical systems that we are dealing with, like their classical mechanical systems, must have their spin spins considered when doing computations of these systems for analysis. When complications arise, in the mathematical analysis of quantum mechanical systems that have spins that when we must use 
of Stone's theorem to simplify the systems in question. Collision. I don't see the characteristic Z jumping out of me on the page. Characteristic spin, zero or one. Characteristic f function, Z. You know, big out, big out of the Z like an X kind of. Uh, that is, that is, yeah, uh, zero or one, or, you know, D groups, or uh, Boolean algebra, all right, whatever. Yeah, oh, uh, and correlation of just the way the mind might perceive it as a similar, uh, comfortable, uh, non contemptuous uh, learning tool. Correct. Please, it's in your, it's in your part. Okay. Collisions and other two body interactions are part of every consideration of all particle-based systems, even spinless particles alike. In the Louisville space, or L of H space, we will see methods of solving mathematically related problems in new ways for Hilbert spaces. Sports to do, and I can't express it 
giant equations. Uh, this thing is a, a big for uh, clarity, and it gives it. You know, so yeah, it's a, it's a friendly thing too. Please continue, yes. Okay. The Louisville L of H space is an extension of ordinary H space of Hilbert space itself. In this space, all sorts of quantum mechanical events can occur and do occur within the limits of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. The Born method of solution requires that the system of equations Converge to a finite value. That's good news. Convergence to a finite value. I'm going to say, if, if you think it's not, I'll tell you one and I bet you $100,000, twice over so much you're going to make a lifetime, is yours. But, like, um, the idea of the operator on the zeta, real zeta to uh, affect the solubility that you did the 287, 987 doctoral dissertation thesis defense, it was strictly said the idea of a converse to one half was enough to make it very, very, very tempting. I think there's life after all, that's 100, however many years that's been on, and in his uh, marginals, made an actual marginal comment that is Raymond Zeta true or not? You know, uh, and, and why having a convergence uh, to one half of an interesting real uh, Z, real means the real part of uh, the Z number, which is like a, a real uh, complex of an I in it, like the CI, the C. Why a C I N? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and we had convert. He got conversion. So he gives a damn. It's not crazy stuff. But that conversion happened. And then, boy, oh boy, that's not just like something that. Oh, okay, two plus six plus five. It's that. Wow, this is new. This is saying there's a lot of hope, and it's gonna go farther. It was showing diversions. That's another, you know, tribute or tribune to take up that river, you know, the dilemmas or focusing and dilemmas along the way, baby. Yeah, yeah. So it really is not uh, just a bunch of word pushing, symbols pushing. It's not as guts of, uh, of something that, you know, applications are very powerful. Um, it's not tomorrow, maybe, you know, 100 years from now, 120, whatever. So, okay, yeah, I it, guy. <laughs> okay. The geodesic can be convex as well. If it is a convex, then g of x such that x approaches t subscript p m and gamma is greater than zero. It is at this point that geodesics become convex. The Jacobi of any geodesic is G of N such that N approaches T sub P M and J of A equals zero and J of zero equals zero. The Ranges theorem will allow you to determine the upper limit of ball size of a Romanian manifold. Purely, uh, you might want to lean on the idea of what's a manifold in a car, for example, in a day. I don't know what you have in the fuel section now, but in the day, you know, the hot rods ever had their, you know, boosted up uh, manifolds in their vehicle, and they're similar. The characteristics of manifolds are fairly, uh, um, basically limited to simple expressions, and you look at space and whatnot, and then also what is, a, it's like the Taurus, where you have affected donut effect. It, uh, you have effects of holes and how the holes are in connectedness. Basically, most of the policy is connectedness and, and trying to describe something by simply that or, you know, it's, it's following sequences of expression. So, the idea is, you're saying, um, manifolds come into play as long as they stay within the bounds. Correct. Okay, yeah. The bounds of how it's going to fit into the hood, you might want to say. <laughs> yeah. 
Theorem. A geodesic triangle T in a Riemannian manifold M is a set formed by three segments of minimizing normal geodesics. The index theorem let gamma such that zero A approaches M to the power N be a geodesic where V of 0A equal V in vector space from a normal vector field V along gamma whereby piecewise differentiable and disappear at the endpoints of gamma such that V of 0 equal V of A equal 0 the index from such that y is a quadratic form from association to symmetric bilinear form. A, correction, I sub A defined on V by I sub A of V W equals integral of lower bound zero upper bound a of v prime w prime minus r gamma v where the gamma is prime times gamma prime w w dt
where it's still uh, adding to a new way of perspective, uh, of introspect, or, you know, perspective, or insight, intuition of insight. Okay. Take it off. Go ahead. <laughs> All you're, really, geodes- you're just a uh, chemist. Um. All geodesics have the property that their lines and triangles are curved and manifest angles of arc. The Weinstein theorem states that the simple connectivity of an orientable manifold of even dimension with positive curvature. The Hadamard theorem applies to differentiable manifolds that have a determined influence of curvature of Ramanian manifolds. The sphere theorem was proven by Roch for H approximately three quarters. It was done in consideration of the cut locus problem. In the case of the dimension M is even. Kliegenberg obtained a theorem for H approximately 0.55. In the case of using the theorem of Tapanagov of even dimension for example H equals one quarter.
It should be noted that the shortest distance on a geodesic is a line that is 2 pi long, where pi is degrees radian. In the case of some geodesic curves, there are two foci on them. In the case of parametric curves that have hyperbolic curves inscribed on them, there are usually only tangents that touch one point. In some instances of parametric curves, there are tangents that touch two points. It should be understood that geodesics that have inner parts that are planar are unstable. Another part of Romanian geometry is continuum mathematics and continuum physics. Until 1937, the definition of Ramanian geometry was vaguely defined. In an n-dimensional cube or sphere, all the vectors are aligned along the side that is less than pi radians wide. The Gaub Therma Ergenium applies only to polygons and other Euclidean geometric shapes. K is the metric of curvature for a geodesic. If K greater than zero, then the curve of the geodesic is concave. If K less than zero, then the curvature of the geodesic is convex. Riemann first defined his geometry as a collection of smooth manifolds. Okay, yeah, smooth, yeah, he's German, right? Riemann uh, has German studies. Uh, smooth is transferred to Schlick, and Schlick is uh, the context. It's the word about the mathematics that's used. Uh, Schlick, a function is Schlick, it's smooth, continuous. It's continuous. So you might see and draw a reading of the thing going on with Raymond or, or, or other people. So you see the word Schlick? Yeah, that's a good one. And, and um, uh, unfortunately, it has some connotations in punk rock. I won't say the smoothest thing about it was what, but if you care to find yourself in an English, uh, you know, an underground uh, a band uh, stage, you know, then they're playing, uh, you know, Schlick uh, music. In the case of a in, in the case of a robot, its smooth motion motions produce a Ramanian manifold. 
this is also the case for collisions of subatomic particles that are produced in collisions. A Lie group is a collection of algebraic based geometric entities. A Grossman group is any manifold that has O of Q, O of Q minus K, and is also part of a Lie group. A K Lie group is any group of manifolds that has less than 16 dimensions. Cayley groups cannot have less than 16 dimensions. So it has no less than 16 dimensions. Very interesting. Very interesting. I mean, outsider looking at that, why 15, 16 are the interesting numbers? You know, why, why not 23 and 24? Why not like 11 and 12? Um, is this like Bonotowski paradox things? Uh, you know, a pluralistic kind of application. Yeah, is there, what's, the, what's the 16? That's a 2 by 2 by 2, right? So it's a 2 by 2 by 2. Is it yeah, go, uh, a Google, Google type thing, a Google Plex? Or, I mean, isn't that the reason it, it shows a 16? Like, two cubes was enough, three dimensions. So you go one more, we have four dimensions. You're talking four dimensions, we're talking 16. No, 16 is even more than four dimensions. Okay, or okay. It's no, 16, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 16 yeah, dimensions. Right. Yeah, I, I couldn't spit it all out, but yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so it's also something with a Tarski exercise about how many, how many uh, ways can you describe a circle, yeah, a circle, and cover all of the parts. And I think it's like a five nine, five nine number like at night. Uh, it was, this was brought to me by a professor from Cambridge. This is like a different type of, uh, what Americans will consider of, uh, as a conventional thing that we learning. We're just kind of cutting in at some basics, you know. It was like more of an advanced problem. But later, yeah, you stumble across those. And, and they're ready to be, you know, met with the teacher, uh, the instructor, the professor, the doctor. So, um, Sufficient. That's for yeah, yeah, that's for the student. Okay, that's I mean, for a K Lay group. Any, oh yeah, okay, yeah, any no. manifold that's okay, a member yeah. of the K Lay group has sixteen dimensions at least. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Really, yeah. uh if I remember the text in uh what's the abstract answer, right? So, Geometries allow for self mapping, all homomorphic 
geometries do not. A yeah, yeah. Homomorphics, if you can put them on a vector, um, almost like like a fixed line, you know, um, just an expression of trying to get a visual of this, or, or a, a mental concept of this story, yet, yeah, uh, which, which originates. Uh, the idea is also that not only does it have some representation, of uh, importance, the the, um, the things that come in and play uh, often uh, rather test, uh, test as in, you know, like a test of the rest or something, um, and stand up to the definitions. And what's the really critical thing locks in is uh, I'll just ask you to continue, if you, if you would, please. And then, uh, I don't want to interrupt you, but I'll let you know. I think it's a very important part um, in better understanding all the concepts of it. Like, like Hilbert spaces have their study, and then the connections with other fields make this thing very rich and powerful in a better way to have insight, again, you know, to look, to look at, and see uh, characteristics, you know, characteristic functions. And, all those things are a little close to get better. You know, I, I can't help but think of like Feynman. Richard Feynman was like one of the you know, like uh, American, Native American uh, thought experiment persons where he did the Einstein thought experiments. He just ran through all the characters he could in his mind and managed to deal like riding along uh, a light beam on Einstein's big one that gave him a kind of claim to fame. And, um, it worked for a lot of ways to say, Let's look at this. I can't remember put on paper as itself right all out, but I'm trying to like freely see what thoughts are associated with other thoughts. It brings me to a model that's the concept of what I'm trying to explain. And, and, and those are gems. Those are like 24 karat gems that float. And, and you better your odds the more directions you come from. That's the, yeah. So go, go ahead. I'm just putting in like some motivational in there. And not to be, you know, Okay, a geometric shape with s to the power d minus one is called a member of the Mobius group. A Ramanian manifold that is p such that m approaches n is called the Romanian cover. Ah, cover. Oh, powerful, very, very powerful word. In the sciences and in the poetry. May I get a chance later to go with that if you give more trouble? Oh, the, collec the collection of all simplistic manifolds of Romanian geometry are Hela geometry in origin. Um, and, and the Spanish Inquisition, and, uh, could you further say, example five, might get uh, pontificating and bubbling or whatever? Um, yeah, so, so the um, Gaelic, right? Like, like, so, like, Freelick? Kaler, Kaler. I have a phone break up, broke up, what? Okay, Kaler. Kaler, okay, okay, okay. Um, he was working alone? Did I, did I have a beat? That I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's our question. I'm just saying, like, uh, but the important thing is, who wasn't contacted after it was established as a stepping stone? I guess that's a. Uh, uh, give me what you visual the characteristics of that again. To see where maybe they think of something in a more general sense than simply the, the mathematical expression of its own right being meaning and existence. There you. Go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kate, Kate, but, um. We want to walk across my yard. We're time and a salt block out. Wait, stop? I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. How do I, I'm not sure what a Kaler actually is. So I don't know if he's a little problem. Okay. 
Keller is the simplistic manifold of G Romanian geometry is called a Kehler geometry. Mobius, um, now, um, and, you 
Um, this is something that, with the, the, the movie is banned. That's what it is to call it. It's like the elementary uh, chaos theory stuff. And uh, the, it's just unfathomable with the mindset of how you are on a finite length of paper, right? And there's unboundedness. And there's a dimension that's not there. You know, if you, if you take the whole trap twist in the movie, and a band of paper that's like, you know, half inch by four inches, or five, and you're running like a, a loop, you know, okay, you're on one side, you stay on one side, and that's the dimension that you're on one side. Now you put a twist in there, and for a while you're running on the same side, it just twists down to the outside. It's the outside, the inside, outside, the inside, outside. It goes on and on, definitely. And, and that's the Mobius band in like one dimension. You know, you get like a, a, a comparison to zero dimension, yet it has a characteristic that is uh, of a nature evident in a physics by a simple model, like a, a simple paper. God forbid they use the So, um, that, that's, I mean, this stuff is like rich in all this kind of stuff. You just, um, you know, if I were like seeing this for the first time, I was saying, I would put down every power word I would ever come across that shows the importance and applications to this. Just, I mean, it's so impressive. It's impressive that, that um, you know, the letters of the alphabet are the same, wherever you go, but this expression of these things that come out of like nowhere. I see, there's some, some kind of birth from, like, from, from the generations, for, uh, and, and you know, the necessity, you know, is a catalyst for a lot of invention. So it's going to see those necessities. Um, how would you explain, like, uh, a two dimensional object with a little added twist, so to speak, and it's become like a lot of, uh, it's lost of one dimension? Uh, it's actually dangerous, you know? It was like a defense mechanism. You start off uh, 16, you know, uh, in your dimensions, you keep getting one knocked away by these uncoverings of these uh, tools, and boom, you're down to like uh, 16 on zero. Uh, if you're not looking, so we're going to blink one more time, or something like that. I mean, you know, this is like, uh, this is so much rich. I want to emphasize, I guess, that the laterals that haven't been taken up in the strict definitions of these constructs that you got some really healthy analogies that go along with this stuff. I'm talking about analogies being application of the mathematics, the mathematical mind applied to a physical world. Yeah, I, um, well, I can't help but think of myself when I was younger and going back and say I do want to pursue you know, theoretical. I do want to learn the poor, pure mathematics. I want to see the proofs. I want to see, you know, how these physical uh, structures come about. I mean, I, I, and there's a religious space on this. And for me, it's like, where in the, where in the, you know, um, well, I was, I was talking about the rabbis, right? He said uh, that, well, the 22 characters of the Hebrew alphabet are claimed by many rabbis that say, this is what God created first, and it was given meaning. And if you have like this, you know, God, God picture, uh, God cell, God, God, uh, you know, whatever, um, I don't know, but uh, construct again, what we're using, but you know, how, do, where does this come up importance for play and, and work? Um, and all through it, there's, uh, boy, evidence that, that that it's rich, and there's a lot. This is a, what's showing. This is what's on top of the iceberg thing, the tip off for it. So. Um, there is a lot, I was saying to kill time all the time, you know, um, you know, I could, I try, I remember going back, uh, to, uh, teaching my substance for, like, junior high school, <laughs> and besides that, I had some really bright, I had really kids, actually, I had some really bright kids that, if I didn't get credit for in the classroom, uh, you know, grade life or something, uh, one, one guy was able to hack into the local bank, and he's in seventh grade, you know, and they got all seven. You know, write the basic assignments or something. But, you know, I mean, not that quick, but, you know, um, these applications and motivations of why are we doing this, if you're, if you're that nice thing, nice thing, not just accepting learning the answers, you know, abstractions of theory with their own um, model. So, yeah, it goes on, it goes on. What, um, beyond uh, the limit that connects us to uh, 
um, the limitations, I'd say, of like the, the, the um, Teddy Swart and, uh, and Herb Hilbert, you know, uh, has his place. He was like the lead group. You mentioned the lead group. That's, if you don't know, that's like zero one, you know, and it's a group as a first operation. Um, so, you know, group has that as characteristic. Um, we have, uh, Okay. 